female king penguin now has offspring. Ooh, boy. All right, um... Yeah, see, there's no save. It just continually saves here. All right, so we'll want to restart this level. Boom. I think what we do, the first four, we have to restart from fresh here. Hola, compadre. Welcome to Rio. I hope you had a good flight. My I brother did. has told me so much about you. My name is Rodriguez Gonzalez Hernandez de la Roja. <laughs> Take your time to have a look around. We have jaguars, sea lions, meerkats, and even chimpanzees here. Okay, Rodriguez Gonzalez Hernandez de la Roja. We are particularly proud of our latest arrivals, King Penguins. These cute fellas were only delivered from the Falkland Islands yesterday and will be a special attraction in the park. Nice. The additional costs for installing the climate control units for the penguins were huge, but the visitors are becoming increasingly demanding and ultimately we want to keep as many visitors satisfied as possible. You're going to help us modernize the visitor facilities. We would like to invest in more facilities so that visitors are more satisfied and stay in the park for longer. We have set up a visitor book on our website where guests can let us know what they thought of their visit to the park. You'll get some idea of what they think by clicking the flashing button in the menu bar at the top of the screen. Okay. Here you will see a selection of the most important recent visitor comments. The aim here should always be to achieve a high number of good ratings, as these will ultimately increase the level of the park attractiveness. The current park attractiveness will be shown by stars on the right next to the visitor button. Later on, I'll tell you more about the park attractiveness stars. Okay. Frau, Frau, Jung, Mann, Mann, Mann. It's amazing. A lot of animals, terrific. See, spotlessly clean. Okay, good. Excellent. To receive good ratings, we must keep the visitors to the park as satisfied as possible during the entire visit. Select the visitor list at the top of the screen again. If you now select any visitor, you can see their current thoughts on the bottom right. Visitors don't only want to watch the animals, but they also love seeing attractive foliage and decorative items. Uh-huh. We have already provided ample greenery, so let's focus on the decorative items in the park. Please select the flashing button where you can view some decorative features. There's a wide range of items and facilities available to choose from, with variations on each item. You can view these using the green gear wheel. Uh -huh. I'll let you go on with it now. Look for some decorative items and distribute them evenly around the whole park. However, make sure you don't block any thoroughfares used by staff or visitors. All the access routes should remain freely accessible at all times. Got it, okay. Let's see, we got a termite hill, a geyser, tiki statue, tiki torch, and a pumpkin head. It's not quite Halloween yet, though, is it? Not quite. We're getting close there. We got our pumpkins growing in the backyard. We've got uh, one fully grown right now, all orangey. Then we got another one almost fully grown, not orange yet, still green. Then we've got a couple of small bulbs that I noticed. And then there was another one that was it was almost ready to uh, hit the ground, so to speak. I can't look this morning. I can't remember where I saw it. All right, so let's get the decorative items out here. Ah. Okay. Um... Try to point where they'll make the most good here. Uh, 
Let's throw a statue in that corner. It's raining. That is not open. I should open that. Do this one here. Uh, that'll do for now. After all, we don't want to use all the money for decorative items. Don't forget, we're a business too, and our aim must also be to entice the visitors to spend more at the park. Well, I could if I could open this up here. You're not letting me. The key word here is drinks. I think we drink more here than in any other country, and not only Thirsty. because of the heat and the high humidity levels. <laughs> Take a closer look at the visitor facility section. Oh, well, let me get back here again. Yeah, that way we can be talking face to face. Oh, somebody left a bottle for God's sakes. garbage can let's just have a look and see what happens if we add a few drink machines please place three machines along the thoroughfare make sure that the machines are facing into the path so the visitors can't miss them tip you can rotate objects by holding down the left mouse button and moving the mouse button up or down well, first things first I'm getting the garbage can There, takes care of that. Alright, uh drink machine. Alright, let's uh let's see where we I think we can put one right here, can't we? In between these two rocks. I think we can probably throw one down here. Come in handy, wouldn't it? Next to the monorail. Everybody's thirsty over here. Equidistant would probably put it here. I we don't have one over there, that's all right. Like right there would probably be about equidistant. <laughs> right in front, I think, is that the Mercats? I think those are Mercats. Yeah, they are. I don't necessarily want to put it in front of their exhibit. That one there, I don't necessarily want to put it in front of that exhibit. We'll put we'll put one over here. Cover this end of the park. Just look at how the thirsty visitors go. are flocking to the machines to buy drinks. I the noticed. manufacturer of the machines assures us that these are the most modern self-cleaning machines with a range of different settings. Hmm, 
They've supplied a manual of over 100 pages. Let's see. Hmm. Don't turn the machines upside down. Don't fill the machines with detergent. Aha. Mm. Here it is on the last page. Select the machines. Now click the goods overview button. Aha. So here we can choose what drinks we want to provide. We can only offer the drinks with two stars when the park attractiveness level has reached two stars. But you can activate the soda. Now, close the menu again. There we go. Let's apply to all of them. I'm now really curious. You can see what the visitors think of the current price levels in the item info menu on the bottom right. Select the price rating button in this. When I read things like that, I say to myself that we could raise the prices a little more at the drink machines. Return to the goods overview and double the prices. Really? Double? Oh, okay. That works. When you have finished, you can then apply the settings to all the other drink machines using the apply to all facilities of this type button. Then press OK. To if you like, you can now, of course, continue the upward price spiral. But it sure isn't easy to get it just right for every visitor. So it's worth monitoring the prices regularly. Anyway, there's something you should note for the future. The more stars the item of goods has, the higher the prices the visitors will accept. Okay. However, only fully satisfied visitors will pay the top prices you have set. So let's see how we can satisfy the visitors even more. Now that we have provided drinks for our visitors, I have another business proposition. So here's a little quiz. Where does each and every one of us go at least once a day? Hint, when you've had a lot to drink during the day. At least once a day? How about at least five Correct. or six times a day? Please have a look at the visitor facilities to see what you have available. You're sure to find an attractive restroom building there, so position two restrooms at the side of the thoroughfares. Hey, let's go for it. Buy four! Distribute them evenly around the park so the visitors Kay. don't have far to go to respond to a call of nature. Indeed. Okay. Turlets. I guess we will certainly have one over here. So we'll go, we'll go red turlet for here. Wait, dude, wait, wait till I put it down here. Okay, so we got the red turlet there. I think over here will be good. Right in this spot here, we'll go, uh, go yellow. Here, yeah, because that's pretty close to the color of the Mercat habitat. Boom. Okay, so somewhere near the entrance, probably, I probably should put it right over here by the entrance somewhere. And then the one over there somewhere, okay. So let's see, let's go, uh, we'll go blue here. Right in here, how's that? Are they using it? Okay, oh, there's somebody in there. All right, one more. Let's go green. Let's see where we want to put this one. I guess we can put, uh, oh, there's decorative stones there. 
Okay, so we put this one right over here. That'll work. Now for the business preposition. Okay. You can even charge visitors for using the restroom. To use this, select an existing restroom building and click on the button Increase Price. Really? Then oh. select the Apply Price button to apply the same price settings to all the other restroom buildings. Wonderful! Now Three you have an extra source of income. You can easily check if the visitors are using the restrooms or if the prices are maybe a little too high. When you're done, then we can continue. Nobody's used it yet. Apart from the I never liked charging drinks, for restrooms. There are other sources of income to explore. For example, aviaries and aquariums. And you can charge visitors an additional admission fee to these buildings too. Now build an aviary at the side of the path with the entrance facing into the thoroughfare. Right over there. Why are all these people unhappy? Because they gotta pay for the turlets, that's why. They have to pay for the turlets. Trying to think, there's. Uh, I don't. I think there may have been once or twice. I don't even remember where it was. And I'm trying to think. It may one of the times may have been when when one of the high school trips to France, where I encountered pay for toilets in one of the cities. I'm trying to think where else. There's another city, but I don't remember whether. I don't want to say it was New York, but I don't. I don't remember where there there were some pay for toilets. That's what I thought. Yeah, I, I think it was France. Pay toilets lead to greener plants. Yeah, exactly. One entrance fee and you don't need to pay any more in the park except for food and drinks. Yeah, well, that that's pretty much... That's... Um, well, the Philadelphia Zoo is like that, for instance. Like, you, you have one admission price and the only, um, the only extra stuff you have to pay for are certain features... Um, like they, they've got rides there. They've got like a carousel. Uh, they've got like a little, it, it's not a train because it has tires, but it, it's essentially like a little cart that goes around. That's been designed as a, as a train. Um, they've got, uh, paddle boats in the lake that's there. So there's the carousel. Paddle boats, the train. Well, they used to have camel and pony rides too. Um, and each of those things you, you, you had to pay separately for. Um, but of course, if you have a zoo membership like we do, if you have a zoo membership, everything is free. Um, because it's all included in the price of the zoo membership. But, um, trying to think, see the, 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 the things that are actually the, the most, I guess you could say onerous in that regard are the, um, are the little, um, oh, what are they called now? I, the name escapes me. The, um. Like the carnivals, like the little, car the, the, the pop-up, the traveling carnivals that come around to the cities and stuff. Those are the things that will eat your money because you have to pay for each ride. You obviously have to pay for the food and drinks. You have to pay for all the, all the, all the games that they have set there. You're basically paying for every, every, every single different thing that is there. Um, except on certain days, they'll have like wristband days, which basically offer... 
unlimited rides, but they never tell you which day is the wristband day. You have to go there every day to find out for the most part. But yeah, we used to have one uh, that, that came around in, in our town um, and set up at the park down the road. And uh, we, we, we took Aaron there the first couple of years. But like I said, and, and then there was one down, uh, the, a, a bigger one that would uh, set up every year. The one in town would come twice a year, uh, usually spring and then fall they'd be back. The big one, that uh, it's about 10 or 15 minutes down the road. Um, I think they only did it once a year during the summer. Um, but they'd be there for like almost two weeks, as I recall. Um, the one in town would be here for like, for like a week. They'd stay for a week and then, then they get, you know, travel around and they come back in the fall for a week. But they'd, uh, the one in town, they'd usually have two days out of the week where you'd have the wristband days. And then the, the, the same, the big one would be the same thing. They'd usually have like one or two days a week with the wristband days where you get your unlimited rides. But yeah, those traveling carnivals are the worst. Most, most, most of the parks and stuff, um, you get your entrance entrance fee and that's it. That's why usually like, like, you know, in, in, you know, this game and, and planet zoo, planet coaster and that kind of stuff. I, I, I tend to turn off the, uh, the restroom facility, prices and and stuff like that because it just i just it doesn't make it doesn't yeah oh, why make you pay for something that you have to absolutely do like use the toilet it never made sense to me but like you like you said yeah i think i think it was in france i think it was france where i counted the, the pay for toilets i'm pretty sure there was another one because I, I sort of remember it like being a quarter or 50 cents it may have been up in New York. But I never really went to New York that often. Most of the time I went was with buddies. When I got older and was working at the bowling center. We used to go to the north. It used to be on um, the South Street Seaport. It was called the North Star Pub, which was it was an Irish pub. Uh, uh, like I want to say genuine or legitimate uh, Irish pub. Served Irish food, Irish beer. You know, it was, you know, a pub. It was a little, like a little little Irish pub you would find. And we used to go there all the time. And we would just, we would go up in the morning. Like, you know, first thing in the morning, we'd get there like 9 or 10 o'clock. And we would just be there. <laughs> oh, freaking. We would eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner there. <laughs> Oh my God, those were the days. Irish pubs are the best. Yeah. I mean, great, great atmosphere. Great crowd. Those are good times. I remember the one one year we were there uh, during the um, Soccer World Cup. Now, I forget, whether the, I forget whether the World Cup was in America at the time. I forget where it was at, but that was the big thing. We, they had the World Cup on. And there were a bunch of... Uh, and there were a bunch of it had to be in, it had to be in America I think or something because I because there were a bunch of Irishmen there um, like three or four Irish guys there with their families who, who would come and they were at the bar Ireland this year the the Guinness is incredible cannot be matched I know right Soul Gloom love me some Guinness but yeah I think I think I don't he was doing, I think it was in America I don't remember but regardless you know. So we were sitting down with these these four Irish guys, and we were just there all day drinking, <laughs> and just talking away, and just just their accents were funny, and it, and my God, we just and like completely we never met before, obviously stuff like that. We just sat there for just hours with these guys, and they they, they were older guys, you know. I was when was this? It would have been the nineties, early thousands. So I was like in my late twenties maybe uh 30 at the most and these were these were older guys they were in their 50s and, and 60s and we were just oh my god that was a fun day and i remember because this was before uh yeah this is in my 20s i really didn't do much traveling like i said i, I had the class trips to europe and stuff like that but like i never you know besides the 
the family trips as a kid, I never really went anywhere. Once I got graduated college and got to be adult, I, I stuck around town for the most part. I, and, you know, we were talking about that, the traveling and stuff. I said, I've never really gone anywhere since I was a kid. And they're like, oh, my God. They, like, couldn't believe I had not traveled anywhere outside of my town. Because they're like, oh, man, you, you go everywhere. It's like, uh, I, I remember one of the guys saying, you know, it's like, oh, if you'd never went anywhere, you'd be shot, you know, in in his Irish accent. Oh, it was so funny. But um, I remember when when their their wives had come in, and this was just like hours and hours later. We were sitting there drinking, eating, and their wives had come in and said, "Let's let's go. It's time to go." They wherever they were going, and we we're like, "No, no, no! You gotta let them stay. You gotta let them stay." Like it's like me and three buddies. Like, no, you got. We're having so much fun here. You gotta let them stay. And one of the guys. When we went to, yeah, the Irish people, yeah, yep, yeah, they're so friendly and nice, but it's funny, and I just, I just remember this, because the, the one guy was sitting next to me, he's like, oh, you're getting us into trouble, laddies, you're going to get us into trouble with the lassies, laddie, laddies, I think he said, it was just so funny the way he said it in that accent, oh my god, we were dying, but that was, oh my god, that was a great day, oh, it was a fun day, yeah, but that was, yeah, I don't, and wow, and that, yeah, like I said, that was back in, in the late 90s, early thousands. We used to go up there and just, oh, I remember the one, one day we went up there, literally, again, most, one of our usual just all days, we'd be there at nine o'clock. We wouldn't leave probably until like midnight, one o'clock in the morning. And then we'd go to the train station at Penn Station because one of the bars there would just be open all night. It, would, it was just like, whatever or, or till four in the morning they had to close for an hour or something like that so we'd go there and drink some more we would keep drinking until the last very last train was leaving penn station to head back home oh my god but we were there one day and like i said we had breakfast lunch and dinner there just drinking throughout the entire day and we ended up when we were ready to leave it was like he gave us the bill and it was like 20 bucks or something so they they didn't charge us for anything that day because we've been going there so often and spending oh my god hundreds of dollars each there every time we went and we go it's like oh my god this can't be right it's like nah don't worry about it don't worry about it we're like okay here you go we left like a three four hundred dollar tip for the for the bartender and the chefs there that day because like it's like come on it's like as much as we drank there that day and eat, ate there that day, it's like we could we, we could leave not without leaving, you know, a few hundred bucks for him, for God's sakes. But my God, yeah, those, those were the days. I can't do that anymore, but yeah, those were the days. But I don't think it's there anymore. I, I remember so, somebody telling me a while back, and this is like 10 years ago or so, uh, saying that they weren't there anymore, that the place had shut down for something or other. I don't remember what it was. I think the owners had sold it and they just or tried to sell it or something like that. I forget what it was, but it shut down, wasn't there anymore. Could be because they didn't charge anybody for drinks, but who knows? But uh, yeah, it's a shame because that, that was a really great place. Really great place there. Oh, that's right. I got to build an Avery. I lost track where I was at here. If you were among the friendliest of met, you go 100 kilometers east and meet east and you meet a sour bunch. <laughs> oh, yeah. I guess it's anywhere. Hit or miss. You know, you'll get, you, you know, you get the friendly groups and then all of a sudden you run into our group. It's like, okay, what's your problem? <laughs> Uh, is this under visitor facilities? Oh, yes, here it is. The Avery. Okay. Well, yeah, exactly. I keep wanting to hit Z to rotate. I can't remember. That's not what it... So we're going to put this offset a little bit here. Like this. We're going to put this right here. Good. Oh, okay. You have maybe already watched the visitor throwing trash on the ground. Yeah. You can easily prevent this by quickly placing garbage cans along the thoroughfare. Ten garbage cans should do it, provided you can distribute them evenly around the park. He wants to do some pooper scooping. All right, let's do Yeah, look, I mean, look at all the frippin' bottles here. That's so ridiculous. Um, all right, so we're going to throw one over here. 
so that's two. Um, we'll go through one here. Three. Four. Five. Thunderstorm. We'll throw one here. Six. Throw one here. Seven. Eight. We'll put one here too. Nine. I think, we'll probably, I think we're barrel throwing one over here too. Ten. Okay, that's there we go. done. But the garbage cans have to be emptied to keep the park clean at all times. We must now hire some garbage men. Oh, that's I good. had already placed an ad in the local paper, and we've now received the first applications. Have a look in the applicant section. Okay, how many do I need? That's the question. Oh, okay. Oh. Now let's hire there some garbage go. men. Ideally, you should position them so that any areas where visitors may stop and rest are covered. You can also adjust their scope of tasks so they don't overlap too much. A little overlap is good. What do we want? Three? Okay. Hire you. So we'll put you like right there. Boom. Swan, we'll put you Make sure we got the corner covered there. Yeah, I'm afraid we're going to have that little spot there not covered. And if I move him over, well, you know, I can ex I can actually extend his scope. That's what I can do. We'll plop you there and we'll extend your scope. Uh-oh. There we go. Alright. So his scope is extended. And the other guy we can plop down here. We'll plop him right down here and that'll cover all that. Boom. Alright, there we go. Alright, that's cleared out yeah good old brexit <sighs> unbelievable all right there we go he's going to town now excellent there we go all the trash has been cleared up and the park is now spotlessly uh, clean not quite i hope the visitors will take note of this and will also have some good ratings and comments in the visitors book okay wow our activities are proving very successful. The park attractiveness level has increased. As you can see above, our park now has a two-star rating, and that calls for a celebration. Grab mm. a drink. We finally <laughs> arrived in Rio. Now that the park is more attractive, we can turn our attention to the price of admission we charge at the park entrance. To do this, please select the entrance building. Whoa. Mr. Cheetah there doesn't sound too happy. Or is that Jaguar? Is he cha Jaguar? Jaguar. I think they're Jaguars, right? Yeah. Jag Jaguars. Oh, there's a baby Jaguar. One bottle out of the dozen on the ground, I know, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, this, is, this is a disaster here. Oh, I gotta call him over to clean these up. Clean. Clean. Oh, he'll go to each one as I tell him to go there. Uh, we, uh, uh, we, 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 where are you going? Where are you going? Come back over here. You got some work to do, pal. All right. 
Uh, Here you can use the price okay. rating button on the bottom right to check how satisfied I know, the one visitors by one. are with the admission charge. Here, also now try to raise the price so that the visitors consider it reasonable. Is a fair price to pay. Uh, by the way, did you notice the narrow bar under the park stars? Yes. When this bar is full, you can safely assume that the park will be awarded an extra star within a month at the latest. And the longer bar and more stars also means that the visitors to the park will be prepared to pay higher prices for admission, visitor facilities, and goods. Visitors to the park do not find some of your Avery's attractive enough, really. The more stars your park has, the more interesting animals, plants, or decorative items you can buy. What is also important is that more stars will attract more demanding visitors to the park, similar to a five-star restaurant. The demanding visitors will, for example, refuse to buy goods or to use facilities that have fewer stars. You can, in fact, upgrade your own buildings and make them more attractive, but you may sometimes have to build new buildings. For example, we now have the opportunity to build nicer and more comfortable two-star restrooms. So, just replace the small restroom buildings in the park with three larger restrooms. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay. Well, I also have to upgrade my Avery, too. The aviary. I think that may come in, though, doesn't it? I may be jumping ahead of the game here. Regional birds, migratory birds. Yeah, see, we got add migratory birds. Boom. All right, anyway, let's... Uh... We can uh, sell that and bring in the... Bigger. Ooh, yeah, I'd say you're much bigger. Uh, this way with it. How far back can I go here? Right about there. Make sure that garbage cans accessible is the key here. Right there, okay. So we've got that one. I can actually, I should just be able to move this. Uh, see that, see some things you can move, other things you can't. Which is annoying. So we'll put that there, there we go, okay. That's better, so we got that restroom. I think what we'll do is replace this one. Uh oh. Dude, close the door. Close the door, Johnny. <laughs> For God's sakes. Nobody needs to see that. Kids. Kids nowadays. Let's go ahead and sell this garbage can too. Because we're going to do it this way. Yeah, never have kids, I know, right? Alright, so we can throw a garbage can here. Actually, I can throw another one over here too, why not? We'll do one on each side now. There we go. So that's number two. If I shouldn't upgrade the one by the entrance. Or I probably should upgrade the one by the monorail here, huh? A lot of people are waiting for this one. Oh my god, look at the crowd. Jesus, take turn, people. Take turns. Yes, I gotta throw this one down first. Uh, 
If you see a visitor with two stars, it could be that he is complaining about the limited selection of drinks on offer. That is because your drink machines are only selling one star drinks. So activate the bio soda and the fruit juice spritzer. Then click next. There we go. Okay. There we go. Uh, bolt. So we want the bio soda. Fruit juice spritzer. I guess I should raise the prices on those too since we raised the prices on the soda mineral. Yes, absolutely. More unhealthy drinks. You betcha. <laughs> Let's do that for all. We're good. I'd like to see a different animal now. Well, you're not. Well, I was about to say you're not going to see one in the toilet, but <laughs> considering some the way some people act. You just might. Right, there we go. Okay, we're good. Oh, click the next button. We should now turn our attention on the upgrading of the aviary. To ah, do this, mm -hmm. select the aviary and click the upgrade button. Yeah, I kind of had a, a memory. A random memory that, oh yeah, I think we had to upgrade this for this one. This menu works okay. similar to the goods menu, so activate the second upgrade level and click OK. Okay, so we're good there. Cool! <laughs> now you have achieved a great deal for our little wildlife park and have gained your first experience of how to make a park really profitable. Excellent. Excellente. And I think that's it for this mission. Allow me to give you a check as payment for your services. Oh, why, thank you. This should come in handy if you ever want to invest in a wildlife park yourself. I can easily imagine that you are now capable of building your own park. Really? Excellent. All right, so where are we at time-wise? Uh, I guess this will have to be it. We'll have to do the next mission next week. Boom. Oh, good. All right. So we got through the first three again today. Not bad at all. Why are these people unhappy? Not. I don't. I'm not interested in the ground hardness. I want. Why are you unhappy? I can't reach you. Different animals. See, that's what they want. They want to see different animals. Well, that's out of the scope of this mission here. All right, there we go. Cool beans. It's time for me to go eat some breakfast. And uh, get ready for some hunting of animals later today. We'll be doing Hunter Call of the Wild on RMG Gaming 2. But thank you, everyone, for joining me today. Thanks, Battery, Soul Gloom, Cat. Else, do we have anybody else here? Nope, just you three chatting. And everybody else out there who's lurking away. Thank you so much for stopping by this morning. Much, much appreciated. We'll be back again like next week. Like I said, uh, we're going to try to do uh, some zooing every Sunday morning now. Real life allowing for us to do so. And uh, play through the campaign here in Wildlife Park 3. Uh, in the meantime, thanks everyone. Much appreciated. Good to see you all again. Hang out with you today. So we'll be back later on today for a nice, uh, for, for a longer stream, nice long hunting stream in Call of the Wild. And then uh, I think that may be it. I don't think I have anything else planned for today. And then uh, we'll be back streaming on Tuesday. Maybe, maybe Tuesday. Maybe. Um, Monday, unfortunately, is shot with a, with probably what's going to amount to about six hours <laughs> at the dentist's various dentist's office for me and the kids so i got mine in the morning then the kids in the afternoon both of them so it's going to be ridiculous so i get to go home yell at Aaron to get ready grab a quick bite to eat maybe <laughs> if i'm feeling up to it 
then run the kids off for about three hours of their dance appointments and come back and get dinner. So I, yeah, so I think tomorrow is just going to be a wash. Tuesday, I go back to work. And then uh, immediately from going from work on Tuesday, all four of us have to run down to the eye doctor's place and get new glasses or get our eyes checked. So that's that immediately, that's at least two hours there after work. So that's, and, and then of course we'll have to go back the week later to get our glasses fit, if our glasses are back within a week. So I don't know about Tuesday. Tuesday I just might be sheer exhausted, so I might not be on Tuesday night. So we might be back Wednesday after, after, after all said and done today. But anyway, thank you everyone for hanging out. I hope to see everybody again really, really soon. And, uh, I think after this week, most of our major appointments and everything else are out of the way, so we can sort of get back to a regular streaming schedule. Man, this week of this this week of vacation has been anything but almost, just because just various appointments, having to deal with, you know, uh, Hyundai and my wife's car this week. Oh, it's just ridiculous. Ugh. Anyway, 2020, what a year. And of course, good luck to you, Battery. Uh, of course, obviously, thoughts and prayers with you as you get double whammied, possibly, um, from the storm. Uh, storm's coming up uh, in a couple of days. But anyway, everybody check out Battery as well. Give Battery some love there. Streaming for uh, the Children's Hospital of New Orleans, so be sure to check Battery out. Battery should be on later today in a few hours for uh, Sunday Fun Day. I think, what are you doing? Are you still farming today? I forget. Because I know like the last two Sundays, it's like, oh yeah, battery streaming. I'm on vacation. I can watch. And then something happens. I'm like, oh, damn it. By the time I get on, you're already off the air. I'm like, frick. But uh, hopefully today, fingers crossed, hopefully today I uh, will be on, even if it's just on mobile watching while I cook dinner. But anyway, thank you everyone. I am BJ Weiler. Everybody stay safe, stay healthy, enjoy your Sunday, uh, or what little of it you, you may have left for you uh, Europeans out there. And uh, everybody try to have a safe and uh, fun week this week. I uh, Like I said, I'll be back in a couple hours here uh, for some called wild and, uh, and then whatever the week may bring for us. Thank you everyone. I am BJ Weiler. Until next time, I'll see all you in game.